So we know how to write remainders as fractions. So the remainder is the numerator and the divisor is the denominator. Now we're ready to learn how to write remainders as decimals. So 12 divided by 5 is 2 remainder 2. So we can write 2 as normal, but now what can we do with our remainder? Well, we need to extend our question with a point 0. Any number followed by point 0 is still the same number, but now we can move our remainder to the next place value column, here the tenths column. We also need to remember to copy up the decimal point into our answer. So now we can just do 20 divided by 5, which is 4. So 12 divided by 5 is 2 and 2 fifths as a fraction, or 2.4 as a decimal. And this makes sense. You know that 2 fifths is equivalent to 4 tenths. So that's why when writing the remainder as a decimal, we have a 4 in our tenths column. So now let's do the same for 23 divided by 4. We have 5 remainder 3. So let's extend 23 to 23.0 so that we can move our remainder to the next place value column, to the tenths. Now before we look at our tenths, let's remember to copy up our decimal point into our answer. So we have 30 divided by 4. But again we have a problem 30 divided by 4 is 7 remainder 2, but we don't have anywhere to put that remainder 2. So now we extend our divisor to the hundredths place by writing another 0 at the end. Now this doesn't change the number, 23.00 is still the same as 23, but now we can write our 2 remainder in the hundredths. And now 20 divided by 4 is 5, so we have our answer. Notice as a fraction our remainder was 3 quarters, and you might know that 3 quarters is equivalent to 75 hundredths or 0 0.75. So that's why as a decimal we can express our remainder as 0.75. Now pause the video and see if you can answer these questions expressing your remainder as a decimal. 21 divided by 5 is 4 remainder 1 so we write the 4 0 after the dividend then 1 remainder now we copy up our decimal point and 10 divided by 5 is 2, so we have our answer. Now 17 divided by 4 is 4 remainder 1, so we write a 4, point zero after the dividend, then remainder 1. Now we copy up our decimal point and we have 10 divided by 4. That's 2 remainder 2, so we write 2, extend our dividend to the hundreds place value by writing a 0 at the end, and then a remainder of 2. 20 divided by 4 is 5, so we have our answer.